Welcome to VPPA Tutorials. I am Venkat. This is part 10 Responding with Status Codes. From the VPPA actions, how can we respond with the different types of status codes? Let us see that. These are the endpoints we have already written. And here I am returning the student, but uh, there is a standard way of returning the data from the action that is action result action result of my particular data i enumerable of student list of student from here there are predefined methods given there are predefined methods given for every status code ok is for success when you want to respond with the success status code that is 200 status code here the success status code here OK is of type 200 success state. That's how you need to return the data if you want to respond with a success status code. OK is for 200 success. Coming to the next endpoint, here also we should do this action result of student. And here there is an ID. Okay, we will come to that. So here we need to return the same thing success and i want to return okay i'm returning okay response with the data and coming to this one also okay response here we need to put this action result okay so here if you notice there is an id if the id is zero or less than if id is less than or equal to zero we should respond with a bad request that's so we will not process zero or negative values bad request that's the bad request that bad request is for 400 so this bad request is for 400 bad request meaning a client error client should not come with a zero or negative values because student id starts from one or the positive values okay that's the one and so here when i am getting the student with the provided id if there are two students but client came back with a number three that obviously will not be there so where student equal to so i am searching with id given and if the student is null if if the particular student is equal to equal to null meaning there is no student found with this particular id okay in that case what is the response we should return not found correct that's the response we should return this one is not found not found this one is 404 okay this is the response we will respond with this is how we can respond with the different different responses coming to this one here we will remove this one and return this particular student so here what we are doing the method here is get student by id so the customer calls this method with the id we are checking whether id is less than or equal to zero then we are responding back with a bad request you need to come back with a positive value okay if the value is positive then we are searching with that particular id if the student is not found it is equal to null then we are saying not found the student particular student you are looking for is not there in the repository so we are responding back with the not found if you want to mention some message you can also mention that the student with id um, id not found interpolation statement dollar yeah that's the error i am responding with 
this will send the 404 response along with this message okay if you want to include message also you can include like this and if everything goes well then i am returning success response with the data student data the same thing applies to the get student by name so here i am responding with that and here it is a name so here we are searching with name the student with name not found so here obviously we need to search with name student name and here it is not required what we need to return here student so here we need to check for string is empty or not is null or empty okay here we are checking whether the name is null or empty if it is null or empty we are sending bad request if it is not null or empty we are checking for that particular name and if the student is not found we are responding back with not found 404 if everything goes well the student found then we are returning a success status code with student data the same thing applies here so here also we can do the same thing delete request deleting a student so we are validating the id if the id is less than or equal to zero we are returning bad request so here also we need to make it a action result so action result then i am returning a bad request i am searching with id for that particular student if the student not found i am saying the student not found with that particular id then i am returning true so here it is not required so i have removed the student from the repository then here i need to return ok status ok status of my data true so if the student got successfully deleted then we need to return true so this is how we can send different types of status codes from web api endpoints